welcome back to another vlog so today i am going to go do my taxes then i have to go to ota to pick up a new toner i'm going to get the good molecules niacinamide one to help with um some of my dark spots and um, a hair mask i need a new hair mask all of my hair masks are either done or expired um i washed my hair yesterday and the hair mask that I used found out it was expired so I had to toss that out and then um, I have to get a new one so I'm thinking of getting the way hair mask or I might order the sacred hair mask online by Beyonce I don't know I feel like a lot of people have been doing reviews on it but I'd have to see it from like a hairstylist point of view um, I seen that a couple people did it with like a hairstylist review as opposed to their own review so I'm going to probably just get one from Ulta because I have a 20% off discount and then I have to meet up with one of my friends um, she made like these acai bowls and these slushies that I ordered from her so I have to pick that up later on but I don't know what time and after that, I might stop at um, Clean Juice to get a juice. Y'all, I found a Clean Juice in Orlando. I found like two of them. And uh, I know I haven't been doing long form vlogs, but I have been doing weekly vlogs as a short. And it seems like shorts are doing much better on my channel than my long form content, according to my YouTube analytics. So that's why I've been doing more shorts. And it's a lot easier because I could just whip out my phone. Um, film the clips and edit it right on my phone and then post it and then boom post it on YouTube and a lot more people tend to watch the shorts so that's why you haven't seen uh, long form content it says I haven't posted on YouTube in um, three weeks for long form content but I have been posting shorts and I, I was posting like two to three shorts a week so if you don't see long form content and you're into shorts, check out my shorts tab because most likely I have already done a condensed version of a vlog as a short and it gets a lot more, like I said, traffic, views on those. So I don't know if I'm going to do weekly vlogs anymore because people don't seem to watch them on my channel. They have a very low engagement and views, but like my other long form content like my favorites videos do better than my vlogs so I don't know if I'm going to change that up into like bi-weekly vlogs monthly vlogs I don't know I'm still thinking I don't know what I'm going to do because the analytics is telling me what y'all want so I gotta go with what y'all want but I do have like two or three trips coming up I purchased a digital camera so I can add a little bit more cinematics to my videos so I've been trying to, you know, up my content, but it seems like, I don't know, um, I'm at a standstill with my content and, um, I don't know, I'm rebranding. So yeah, anyways, let's get going.
black biker shorts oversized graphic tee i'm okay and then i'm going to put my black nikes so i did like a short amazon haul which i'll insert here where i showed y'all this acrylic um container that i got for my travel size perfumes and i'm not gonna put on one today because i'm going to try out the kylie cosmic one at ota and wear it for the day and see if it's good i smelt it last time i went and it was very light um scent like an everyday light pretty girly smell but i want to try it again because it's really affordable so this is my little container if i wasn't going to try out the kylie I've been loving the Kaeli Yum Pistachio Gelato. This smells like a creamy, light vanilla um, pistachio ice cream. Or I've also been in love with this clean skin. This is a light floral and it smells like second skin. So those are the two that I've been loving lately. But I'm not going to wear any perfume from my collection today. What's up y'all so it is like later on in the day i stopped and went to go do my taxes first but before that i had to stop somewhere else real quick so the day just started flying by and i just left the tax office i was in there for like two hours because i was um helping my uncle out do something but now i am waiting for my friend to bring the acai bowl and the slushy and then on my way home i'm gonna stop at ota and see what they have and then go home it's been a long day y'all i even stopped at kava and got me something to eat real quick and i haven't picked up the camera since because i've been on go 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 so just want to check in and let y'all know what i'm up to um and then after that like i said i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day it is easter weekend so tomorrow i'm supposed to go to my aunt's house she's having easter dinner she does every year um and then from there my week starts all over i just feel like a little hamster in a wheel like i'm constantly going 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 if i'm not doing youtube i'm at my nine to five i'm doing everyday stuff life been life in so it's like Woo! Sometimes you need to hit a pause. We need to hit a pause. And then I have a, a nice breakout right here. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? But yeah, I just wanted to check in. So I'll see y'all at Ulta when I get there. Girl. It's okay. I'm going to eat this at home anyways. And this, I might freeze it again. Okay, cool. It looks good. Drive Thank safe. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, anytime. Next time. Yes, I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. I got the juice. Oh, this is nice and frozen. Also got the acai bowl. I'm gonna tear this up later. And these are infused. If you know, you know. But I'm about to head to Ulta. See ya. So I picked up the Good Molecules Niacinamide Toner, Brightening Toner. 
and I love this brand. I already use their retinol, their um, discoloration cream, and um, another of their products. And they're really, really good. Very gentle, affordable, and they work. And then I picked up a hair mask, the vitamin C strengthening mask. I need a mask that was going to be able to strengthen my hair because it is shedding a little bit and it's a little bit weak um, at times. But I hope this hair mask will help with that. So I'll let you guys know. Y'all, so this is like my little hair uh, basket. I leave this in my room because it's a lot easier for me to access um, the products and just go in the shower. And so far, this is like my favorite leave-in conditioner. I'm going to do like a hair favorites video for like my relaxed hair, what I like to use, tips and tricks and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But I'm just giving y'all a little quick overview of my vlog. This is what I love to use in my hair. Aussie, this brand is amazing. Their 3-Minute Miracle Moist is fire. The conditioner is fire. And then this, it says Miracle Curls. I have my hairs relaxed, but since it's a leave-in detangler milk, it serves as a leave-in and a moisturizer for me. And it's so lightweight. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It leaves it so soft and moisturized. So, I have cleaned out this basket a couple times. Gave stuff away to like my cousins and my aunt. I recently picked up some Olaplex. This is what my hairstylist uses in my hair. They're clarifying shampoo. I also have the, um, what is it? I have the number zero. This is a primer to help with um, mending the bonds in your hair. Because my hair is relaxed, it breaks down like the protein bonds. So I need something that's going to help serve as like a filler. And Olaplex does it really great. You will put this on first on dry hair number zero and then you will add um where's the number three then you would add the number three right on top you don't um take it out and i love the number three but i don't use it as often or a lot because you're not supposed to use olaplex like a lot in your hair it will kind of mess up your hair so i tend to use this like maybe once a month um as a treatment so number three and then, as y'all can see, I don't really have any hair mask anymore. I do love silicone mix, which is down here. I have my relaxer that I use. This is the relaxer that I use. Motions. I had to go back to the OG. Um, I have another shampoo right here. Melanin hair care. I also love this Pattern Beauty leave-in conditioner, but it smells like... The smell, they need to do something about the smell because the smell is like very old lady like and I'm not a fan and it's basically almost done and I'm contemplating repurchasing this or just sticking with the Aussie this is my favorite hair oil that I use on my hair um, the Maya Organics and then I also love this pattern treatment right here it has water um, and it helps with definition and curl elongation but I don't have curls this helps with like slip and strain in my hair so I uh, pretty much um, is almost out of all of my products so I need to re-up good morning y'all so today is Sunday it is Easter Sunday and I'm about to go ahead on a walk I normally like to do three to four miles around the park they have a trail and then I usually get a drink so I'm at Starbucks right now getting me a drink and I want a sandwich and this top is the one that I got from Amazon that I was trying to show y'all on my haul that it was kind of like a little fail but I got this top from Amazon. So yeah, I'm about to go on a walk. I feel so tired. That infused watermelon drink had me sleeping all night. Woke up this morning still sleepy. <laughs> so I said I had to get up. I had to get up. So yeah, I normally get the lavender um, oat milk matcha with a shot of espresso. It makes the matcha taste a lot better in my opinion and I love it so I'm about to order hi there welcome to Starbucks would you like any food today hi yes do you have any more of the bacon gouda sandwiches 
Let me check. In the meantime, is there any other food that you want? No, just that. Um, and can I do the ice lavender cream oat milk matcha? A um grande with um a shot of espresso. Okay, grande ice lavender oat milk matcha with a shot of espresso. Anything else? That's all. Alrighty, can I have your name please? Rose. Rose. Alright. It's gonna be oh we do have the baking good so it's gonna be thirteen thirty two at the window, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Y'all, thirteen dollars for a sandwich and a drink. Oh my god! But I need the little espresso shot, y'all, cause I need energy, energy. Okay, energy. That's what I need. Dang, the app says if you spend at least fifteen for thirty. Wait, what am I saying? If you spend fifteen pre-tax in a single order, you get thirty extra. Um, what you gonna call it? Thirty extra stars, but I did not. So, bummer. And I use the app to pay because you get points. So, yeah. Woo, baby, I am tired, 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 tired. So, let's see this person. Hello, you too. Tea. I'll see you at the park. done with my walk it's so hot like I'm sweating I had to get in the car and turn on the AC and go home because it's so hot like I'm sweating let me see how many miles I did 2.68 miles normally I'll do three or four miles but it's so hot it's so hot even my water is not helping but I was trying to do the March challenge on um, the Apple app or whatever. You probably can't even see that because it's so dark. But I'm missing a day. I was supposed to do 0.7 miles a day 14 times this month. And I've done 13. So I almost got this. But better luck next time. So I'm going home. I'm about to shower. And then um, start getting ready at like 3.30. So 
I'll see y'all later. So I'm about to do my makeup and I'm just gonna do the Danessa Lyrics powder with the um moisture balm. Like I always do, I put some of this topicals lip gloss on and then I'm gonna use the Danessa Lyrics. This is the Moisture Repair Balm Serum and this is the Yummy Skin in the shade 9. And you use both together, which I love because it's pretty hot. And y'all know this balm is tea, okay? Like, it will keep your face in check the entire time. No extra oils, all of that. I'm almost pan on this because I use this a lot. And then for my eyebrows, I just use some henna powder to fill them in. And then I'm going to go in with the moisture balm. To just give my face some added moisture so when I put the powder on it just glides on and this um, moisture balm doesn't make me extra oily it just moisturizes it gives you like a nice little like I see glow and that's pretty much what I use to cover up my my dark spots whenever I go out is the Danessa Marks Yummy Skin Tint. And then I just got on a bodysuit from Target and some Express shorts. And I'm gonna wear some sandals because it's Easter Sunday, you know, we're in the spring, so we need to bring out the colors. Now once I'm done with that, I'm going to put the powder on top and I'm going to show y'all real quick. I need a brush. Um, where am I going to find a brush? I need a brush and then I'm just going to put the lip gloss on, which I already have on. And then call it a night, put my hair up in the claw clip, put my um, necklace on, Karen and Rita earrings. And then I have this permanent bracelet, y'all, that I got at a, um event. It was like a pop-up shop, and they were doing permanent bracelets. So this bracelet cannot come off. It is permanently locked on, and I did a short on this. So y'all can check out my shorts to see how it was put on. But it was really, really simple. The jewelry can get wet. Um, you can go outside, you can go on the beach, you can go in the water with it. It doesn't rust or anything like that. It doesn't tarnish, it doesn't turn your wrist green. And I've been loving it because I don't have to worry about taking it on and off. So yeah, I'll leave the name of the Instagram where I got it done. And they're located in Orlando and they do permanent jewelry. So check them out. You can get a bracelet, necklace, anklet, you can add charms to it. But this is my new baby. A little brush only thing with this balm is that it does transfer so if you go hug somebody uh, you will leave the moisture balm on the shirt so whenever I wear this I try to give like church hugs and not really like a full on hug cause it does transfer on, on top and I think I might add a little bit of blush uh, powder blush on top so this sets as a powder on its own but I like to spray a setting spray on top of it so that it can stay put. But like I said, it, since it's a serum balm, it still transfers onto other people's clothes and it can get on your clothes. So I make sure to just bring it down because I do have some dark spots like underneath here, which is slowly going away. I started back seeing an esthetician for my skin concerns and she actually said everything I was using at home was doing good um she did let me know that i think i may be um 
I don't know if it's allergic to tretinoin or what it is, but she had me stop the tretinoin because my face was so irritated, like in certain areas. So she had me stop using the tretinoin, so I had to go and buy like a retinol cream serum, which I got from Good Molecules, um, that I'm going to try out. So I stopped using the Curology tretinoin, and the irritation has gone down a little bit. So now we're just working on the dark spots, but she said so far my skin looks really good. Um, it's going to take time for the dark spots to fade, obviously, because you'll get new ones on top of the old ones. And it just takes time for them to fade, but for the most part, she's uh, very pleased with my skin. And I haven't gone to her in a long, long time because I was trying to get my acne under control. So now... I'm back to her so she can help me clear up these dark spots and for the most part this I have a facial on the 6th and today is the 20 no 31st of March so yeah so that's all that I put on for the powder as y'all can see it's a little bit of a glow to it now I need to get the blush And I'm just going to use like a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with none other than House Labs. This is Watermelon Bliss. Add a little bit of color to me. This one is pretty pigmented so I like to go in light. Just for like a flush of color. I'm going to use this Morphe setting mist. What's up y'all so today is Saturday and I just came back home from getting a facial I didn't take y'all with me because I forgot my camera and this morning I was running late so I was like rushing out because I went back to sleep to take like a 30 minute nap but then I just fell asleep and didn't really wake up on time so I went I got my facial last time I got my facial um, she told me to stop the tretinoin like I told y'all in the previous clip that the tretinoin was irritating my skin and that there's other ways that I could treat my acne and my dark spots without using tretinoin it was too harsh it was causing irritation and then I also found out that the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser was also burning my skin and irritating it you wouldn't think that because it's a hydrating face wash but it was and I actually purchased the um, foaming facial cleanser one and I'm about to return it because it's almost very similar in the ingredients and I bought this like a couple weeks ago because the hydrating one was burning my skin so I'm gonna return this one back to Target and I picked up a different alternative from Ulta because they had a 20% off coupon they heard Sephora was having a sale and it was like yeah here's 20% off again after we just had one so I picked up the La Roche Posay for sensitive skin this one is a purifying foaming cleanser it's safe for sensitive skin it has ceramides in it and niacinamide and that's what my 
esthetician recommended for me to add niacinamide and ceramides into my skin so that it can help repair my skin barrier and control the oils. So I picked this one up instead. I'm going to return the CeraVe Facial Cleanser. And then I actually picked up the Kylie um, Fragrance, the Cosmic by Kylie Jenner. I showed y'all this last time when I went to Ulta to pick up the um, hair mask and the um, Good Molecules toner. And I wore it, loved it. So then I went back and picked up the 1.0 fluid ounce. It's a very light, girly floral warm scent um it's only 48 dollars like i said i had a 20 percent off coupon so i ended up paying 38 dollars for it and it's a very good size for it feminine girly light the fragrance notes are star jasmine blood orange amber cord red peony vanilla musk and cedarwood so i love um cedarwood i love vanilla i love amber and i love blood orange so it's a perfect, like I said, girly feminine scent. So I'm about to add this to my collection. And I'm also going to return the hair mask that I bought from Ulta as well. Because I feel like I could get something cheaper at the beauty supply store. Like the ORS Reco Reconstructive um, Conditioner. It's like the orange bottle. And this is also a Reconstructive um, hair mask and it was $30 I'm about to return this because I can get something for less and I also went to Sephora not too long ago and smelled the Jackie Ina forever mood fragrances and they are amazing I did a short on it so I'll link that short up in the cards if you want to hear my thoughts on it I did purchase a full bottle of you remind me because it's so clean so fresh I'm very much into the second skin fragrances these days for the spring and summer so once it gets here I'll show it to y'all but yeah I just wanted to check in and I'll catch y'all with whatever else I'm gonna do